To measure shoulder flexion, active range of motion, the patient is seated uh, with their arm hanging down at their side off of the table and the goniometer is placed over the humeral head. In order to find the humeral head, first palpate for the acromion and then below that you can palpate the humeral head and find where the axis of your goniometer will go. Once you've found that, you can line up the stationary arm of the goniometer with the trunk and make sure your patient is setting up nice and tall. Excellent. And the moving arm of your goniometer then will be lined up with the lateral epicondyle. So this is the starting position. And then can I have you bring your arm all the way up over your head? Again, repalpate. Find that humeral head again. Put the axis over the humeral head. Stationary arm is, again, in line with the trunk. Moving arm is in line with the lateral epicondyle. And can you raise your arm any higher? All right, very good. And so in this case, we have an active range of motion of zero to 150 degrees for shoulder flexion. Things to watch out for in terms of substitutions would include, bring your arm up over your head again, and way on back would include trunk rotation or trunk extension um, that'll make it look like they have more range of motion at the shoulder than they actually have.